Our next guest is Sarah Brown, a family nurse practitioner who just recently joined Brunswick Women's Center. Well, Sarah, it's so nice to have you on the show today. Thank you. And uh, I understand that you recently joined Brunswick Women's Center. That's correct. Um, August 27th, actually, was my first day. August 27th. Mm -hmm. Well, great. Well, tell us a little bit about your background and your education. I actually, I am from Duplin County and moved to Wilmington in the 1970s, then went to nursing school in Raleigh in 1970, graduated in 74, and then went to nurse practitioner school at Chapel Hill in 78 and 79. So you are from the area then. Originally you're from this area, mm -hmm. from Duplin County? Yes, mm -hmm. and most of the professional life has been in and around the Wilmington area, so mm -hmm. this has been a treat to meet more patients and staff from this area. I'm learning the area mm -hmm. as far as providers. It's been wonderful. Mm -hmm. Everybody's been very friendly and welcoming. Great, that's good to hear. Yeah, I've been pleased. Well, I'm curious, what made you uh, decide to join Brunswick Women's Center? It was an opportunity to resume seeing OB patients, and I had missed that for almost three years. I was doing GYN only. Oh, I see. And so I, um, actually two years, and so I've been really happy to get back to OB patients, and I enjoy women's health in all aspects, from mm -hmm. adolescence to geriatrics. It's very rewarding, and I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you're enjoying uh, being in Brunswick County. I am. I don't even mind the commute. Really? Really. It's been, it's been very nice. Mm -hmm. Well, I know that we're glad to have you here. Thank you. And um, I've had other providers from Brunswick Women's Center right. um, on our show, but just in case our viewers miss those episodes, uh, remind us who your uh, providers are at the facility, Dr. who your McCarthy, colleagues are. Um, Dr. McCarthy and Dr. Toller. Dr. Wu and Dr. Shu. <laughs> Wu, Wu and, and Shu. Shu. <laughs> They're all wonderful. I bet that gets confusing. It is interesting. <laughs> I bet. Well, let's talk about some of the services that are provided at Brunswick Women's all Center. Right. Uh, what are some of those? Um, Routine the, OB and GYN care for mm -hmm. women of all ages. Of course, the surgeons, the physicians, are the ones who do surgical procedures mm -hmm. both in the office and at the hospital. and I had the opportunity to know Dr. Toller for his four years of residency and knew Dr. McCarthy during her first year of residency in Wilmington. And so knowing their background and their skill set and learning Dr. Wu and Dr. Shu, I've been very happy to be able to be part of the group that provides an amazing service to women and families in this area. Mm -hmm. Now you said you provide women's services to mm -hmm. women of all ages. Mm -hmm. What would be the youngest you the might see? The youngest actually, um, not here, I have actually seen toddlers in the past in a pediatric setting. Mm -hmm. And my youngest GYN patient probably in the past was eight years old. Mm -hmm. But I have seen some young pre-adolescents mm -hmm. here. Okay. I think my oldest patient um, and my experience has been in her 90s. Wow. <laughs> so Almost from birth to... <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, do you have any special interest or particular focus in, um, in women's services that, that you really enjoy? There are, there are certain appeals in different ages. I enjoy working with teens and young adult women, especially with trying to encourage them to pursue protection and mm -hmm. Gardasil vaccine, that sort of thing with cervical cancer being such an issue in this part of the state. Mm -hmm. And, you know, within with young mothers and remembering what it's like to be sleep deprived and then the joys of becoming more mature and as you enter menopause. And I thought I understood that very well and I have had the opportunity <laughs> now to learn, to learn it. And then the grace that comes with the aging woman and the different issues that arise. It's just nice to be able to to maintain and stay on top of things and mm -hmm. help hopefully help them have better quality of, of life mm -hmm. if they have problems. Mm -hmm. um, I'm curious, um, do you have your own patients? Do patients, uh, can they schedule yes. just with you? Um, and since, since I've only been there for a few weeks, mm -hmm. I have just now started seeing some patients that I had met you know, in those early weeks. And it's very nice to be able to 
know who they are. Otherwise, it's a learning curve for all of us, for patients to learn me. And I have had one patient ask, why did I ask so many questions? And I explained to her that's because I want to know her as a person, not just as a presenting problem or issue. Mm -hmm. And so I do ask a lot of questions about family and Mm -hmm. surroundings, that sort of mm -hmm. thing. But you have your own, um, you follow your own patients. Then. I do. I have in previous practices and that's my understanding that we will do mm -hmm. exactly the same here. Of course, sharing um, issues with the physicians also. Right. And then if they needed further um, surgery or what have you, that right. you would refer them to one of your physicians correct. there. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of a one-stop shop. And it that, is. kind of nice. Really you can just take care of everything there. <laughs> everything from the GYN standpoint. Um, mm -hmm. I right. Think I'm, again, I can't say enough positive things about how impressed I've been with the, the demeanor and the skill set of not just the physicians but the staff. Mm -hmm. Everyone has just been exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, that's I wonderful. Got very, I was very fortunate to find this. Mm -hmm. Now, do you provide DEXA scans at the We do. We actually do. Clinic? Thank you. Um, I have a, a wonderful nurse who does those procedures, and she's. we were talking with a gentleman from a company that involves an IV medication for osteopenia and osteoporosis. Oh, uh -huh. And so we were learning a lot, and she's wonderfully skilled at it. Mm -hmm. And as you know, it's a painless procedure. Right. Yes, I've had one. Uh, is that something you recommend on a yearly basis? Depending on history, body style. Mm -hmm. I have even had a 20-year-old who was osteoporotic because wow. she was a, a long-distance runner and oh. was very slim. Mm -hmm. And so depending on what their previous scans have been, mm -hmm. sometimes it's fine to go more than a year mm -hmm. and depending on the need. Mm -hmm. I haven't had one in a while. It's probably time. <laughs> we can make you an appointment. <laughs> so are you currently accepting new patients? I am. I am, as is the practice. The entire practice is yes. open to new patients? That's my understanding, Great. yes. So if our viewers out there would like to schedule appointments, mm -hmm. how might they do that? You could call the office, 754-9166. It's the same number for each of the sites. We have the Leland office at Waterford our main office in Supply, and then there's an office at Sea Trail. Mm -hmm. And what office are you primarily located? I'm primarily at the Supply office, mm -hmm. and I'm in Leland one day a week. One day a week. Mm -hmm. um, is the Leland office open every day? Or is it? it depends. Um, they're working on having a provider there most days of the week, mm -hmm. and that depends on what the surgical need is mm -hmm. and that sort of thing, but it's my understanding at least Tuesday through Friday mm -hmm. is trying well, to have providers there. That does give uh, quite a uh, selection to um, to the women of Brunswick County because right. we've pretty much covered the whole county. You've got it as far south mm -hmm. as um, Sea Trail and Correct. then as far north as Leland, so they don't have to drive too far True. to hit one of those offices. True. So. Well, great. It's been a pleasure having you on the Thank show you so today. Much. Thank I you so much. I appreciate the opportunity to meet you. And I love to um, catch up with you at a later date and, and talk a little nice. more in depth. That sounds like a good idea. Thank you. Great. Thanks for being here. Thanks. Mm -hmm.